Do you have need of peace? Well, get ready to prepare for battle and go against the forces of darkness. Do you have need of a job? Well, be prepared and ready for, for, for battle, amen? Be ready to conquer the forces of darkness that surround this world, amen? Uh, you know, army after army would oppose the Israelites, threatening to erase them from the face of the earth. You know, it wasn't going to be just any old hunky-dory cross over the Jordan and get into my promised land. Man, they're going to have to fight and fight well, amen? They were going to have to mobilize for battle. <clears throat> Christians, if you can get the revelation off this message, you have to mobilize for spiritual battle, amen? You have to understand the word of God. You have to stand on the word of God. The Bible says God's people perish for the lack of knowledge. Verse 8 says, Do not let this book of the law depart from your mouth. Meditate on it day and night, so that you may be careful to do everything written in it. Man, he wants you to meditate on it so you can do everything that's written in it. If you don't meditate on it or don't read it, you're not going to know... Uh, how to do everything that's written in it. You're going to be running around bumping one another in the dark. Then you will be prosperous and successful. Have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. How many times has he said be strong and courageous? You know, I read a sign one day that says do not be afraid. But I knew the Holy Spirit was speaking that to my heart. It was just a church sign. It just said, do not be afraid. But it witnessed to me. It, it ministered to me. Uh, God was saying, don't be afraid. You know, he's with us. Do not be terrified. Do not be discouraged. For the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. So Joshua ordered the officers of the people, go through the camp and tell the people, get your supplies ready. Get your supplies ready. Get ready to go. Get ready to cross over to the promised land. Get ready to see God make it happen. That's what he's saying here. It says three days from now you will cross the Jordan here to go in and take possession of the land. The Lord your God is giving you for your own. But to the Reubenites, the Gadites, and the half-tribe of Manasseh, Joshua said... Remember the command that Moses, the servant of the Lord, gave you. The Lord your God is giving you uh, rest and has granted you this land. Uh, your wives, your children, and your li livestock may stay in the land that Moses gave you east of the Jordan. But all of your fighting men, fully armed, must cross over ahead of your brothers. You are to help your brothers. Uh, these guys had... God had given them land on this side of the Jordan. But their brothers had to go over to the other side of the Jordan to get their part of the promised land, but they were still commanded to go and help their brothers fight, even though they were already on their land. Amen. Okay, in verse 15, it says, Until the Lord gives them rest, as he has done for you, until they, have, uh, they too have taken possession of the land that the Lord your God is giving them, after that, you may go back and occupy your own land, which Moses, the servant of the Lord, gave you east of the Jordan toward the sunrise. Then they answered Joshua, Whatever you have commanded us, we will do. And wherever you send us, we will go. Just as we fully obeyed Moses, so we will obey you. Only may the Lord your God be with you as he was with Moses. And of course, we all know what the Lord was. Amen. Uh, whoever rebels against your word and does not obey your words, whatever you may command them will be put to death. Uh, only be strong and courageous. There's that again. Only be strong and courageous. Uh, you know, like I said earlier, God made you promises. Uh, like I said, they won't, more than likely won't just be handed over to you. God wants us to be prepared for battle. But I wanted you to remember that the battle is not yours, but it is the Lord's. I mean, Jesus came down. He saved us. He set us free. God uh, God even gave us the faith to get saved. Amen? Amen. 
there's nothing we've done on our own that we can take merit for. Uh, be ready to pray and to pray without ceasing. Uh, the Lord is with you and he promises you that you will make it to your promised land. Uh, just remember to do all that he said to do. God never promised that it'd be easy, but he promised that he would never leave you nor forsake you. It may be seemingly dark right now, but the dawn is coming. The dawn is coming. Weeping may endure for the night, but joy cometh in the morning. Brother Steve said, uh, sometimes you must be prepared for the battle to possess what God has promised to you. There are times when our life that God has promised us something, but sometimes there's a storm that comes. And sometimes we have to take authority over that storm. Yeah. And God's give, Jesus has given us power and authority over the, all the power of the enemy. We can take authority over things sometimes. And one time, some years back, uh, my husband had been promised a job, but all he needed for his job was a report from a doctor. And, and the, the doctor's office, for one reason what no, another, wasn't, wasn't doing it. I think one person that was supposed to do those reports had laid it aside and just was just ignoring it. And he had two weeks to get that in. Well, it came down to the day it was due. And we had tried to call the doctor's office to get this report. And, and this person had kind of given us the runaround. And I got down that morning of the last day it was due. And I prayed and I said, okay, God, I know that you want Steve to have this job. And I got down and I had to pray. And we had to pray through. And then I called that doctor's office again, and that lady wasn't even at work that day. And I got a hold of somebody else. And she said, I will take those papers down. The doctor has to sign them. He's at the hospital. I will take them over there and have him sign them myself. And I will get them faxed in for you. And so sometimes we have to pray. Sometimes we have to do something to go in and possess the land. You know, God's made yeah. promises to us, but sometimes there's something we have to do for it. Yeah. And uh, God gives us promises. And, and in uh, Joshua chapter 1, verse 5 that that's really a good promise i love that it says no man shall be able this is god speaking to joshua no man shall be not will shall be able to stand before you all the days of your life as i was with moses i will be with you i will never leave you nor forsake you well in the new testament in um in the book of hebrews god speaks that and shows us that is for us it's not just for joshua as for us, Jesus will never leave us or forsake us. Once we have accepted Jesus as our Lord and Savior and we, we start serving God, he says he'll never leave us or forsake us. But he does want us to go in and push on. Yeah. I mean, we, we need to stay in the Word of God. We need to uh, speak the Word of God over our situation. We need to meditate on it. He said, meditate on it, and then you'll make your way prosperous and have good success. Amen. And and then whenever Joshua spoke to the people, he said, okay, this is what God told us to do. Now, are you all ready to do it? And they said, yes, yes, we are. In verse 16, it says of uh, Joshua chapter 1, it says, so they answered Joshua saying, all you've commanded us, we will do. And wherever you send us, we will go. And just as we heeded Moses in all things, we will heed he you. Only the Lord your God be with you as he was with Moses. And so what they were saying is, and that this should be our statement today, say, God, whatever you tell us to do, we'll do it. Wherever you want us to go, we'll go. Let's be prepared. Let's prepare ourselves to, to be sensitive to Holy Spirit. Let's have our, our, um, let's get right with God, number one. And we're going to do that in just a minute here. Number two, let, let's pray. Let's have a, a time that we talk to God and spend time with him and fellowship with him. Let's read the word. Let's have a time where we, we know, see this book here? You know, some people are saying, oh, I wish I could hear from God. I wish I could hear from God. Oh, you got a whole volume. Look how long this is. Yeah. Oh, there's wonderful, wonderful words from God in here just for you Amen. in this book. 
Yes, the Holy Spirit will speak to our heart directly uh, many times, but God wants us to prove all things and hold fast that which is good. We prove it with God's word. Otherwise, we'd listen to every voice in the world and whether it was of God or not. And we need to know God's word. It's real important. Okay, this is your opportunity. If you never asked Jesus to come into your heart and forgive you your sins, this is your day. The Bible says today is the day of salvation. If you've done this before, but you've gotten away from God, you haven't been keeping him first in your life, use this as your time of rededication to the Lord. And I'm going to pray this prayer. And, and I want um, everyone that's here is going to pray it with you after me, help you pray it, okay? Let's pray this prayer and accept Jesus Christ into our heart. Father God, Father God thank you for sending your only son, Jesus, to die on the cross for my sins. And thank you for raising him from the dead, that I might walk in newness of life. Jesus, Jesus, forgive me of my sins, me of my sins and, come my and come into my heart. I will live for you. I will live for you. In, Jesus name. In Jesus' name, amen. amen.